Hey everyone, happy Friday Eve. It is Thursday, April 9th. I hope you guys are doing well today. And as of 4.30 4 p.m. today, there are a grand total of 353,075 people who have recovered from COVID-19 around the world. Here are your five good things for today. First off, Zane Powell's of Grimsby, England would and very well may wind up walking 500 miles and maybe 500 more, as the song goes, all to ensure his students at Western Primary School get their free lunches. Four out of 10 of the nearly 300 students at Western Primary are classified as disadvantaged in an area that has some of the worst deprivation in the country. Mr. Powell's, the assistant head teacher at Western Primary, carries and delivers the 78 lunches for students who qualify for the free lunch program. When asked about carrying the heavy amount of food, Powell's responded that his discomfort was nothing in comparison to the ordeal faced by many in his community. Kim Leach, the head teacher at Western Primary, delivers meals in her car to students on the outskirts of the town. Together, the team makes sure that none of their kids are missed. The next good thing was brought to my attention by Angie McElroy of Dayton, Ohio. Tyler Perry lightened the load for many senior shoppers. The funny man and movie star paid for the groceries of seniors during senior hour at 44 Kroger grocery store locations around the Atlanta area. Emotions ran high when seniors realized their pantries would be full at no cost to them. Perry is no stranger to the astounding acts of kindness and generosity. Over the weekend, the actor put a $21,000 tip on his bill at a restaurant. In 2018, he spent nearly $500,000 paying off layaway balances at Atlanta area Walmart. Dubai lit up the night when the city's hotels turned out most of their room lights and illuminated the windows on their facades to form heart shapes across the city. The hotel industry is one of the hardest hit during this time of travel lockdowns. The, this, the display was not only heartwarming, but a sign of solidarity and commitment with the global community in battling the COVID-19 pandemic. An anonymous donor surprised an entire town. The town of Earlham, Iowa woke up to an unexpected gift in their mailboxes. Each household in the community found $150 worth of gift cards in their mailboxes last Thursday morning. The gift cards were to local restaurants and stores in the Earlham area. Accompanying the gift cards was a note. During these unusual times, with there being so many unknowns, an anonymous donor is wanting to help out the community of Earlham in keeping our economy strong. Enclosed, you will find gift cards to three local businesses gifted to every household in Earlham. The cards totaled $82,000 spent by the generous donor in support of their local community and locally owned businesses. And last but not least, Lady Gaga put her celebrity to good use and helped Global Citizen, an adv advocacy organization, raise $35 million to fight the impacts of coronavirus. Gaga noted the money was raised in seven days and will benefit the World Health Organization. The singer also announced One World, Together at Home, concert, which will feature appearances by Elton John, John Legend, Lizzo, Andre Bocelli, Billie Eilish, and more. Though she wants to continue raising money for this televised concert, Gaga says, put your wallets away and sit back and enjoy the show you all deserve. The concert will air on April 18th at 8 p.m. Eastern on ABC, NBC, CBS, iHeartMedia, and Bell Media Networks. It will also live stream on YouTube, Apple, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and more. And those are your five good things for today, April 9th. If you guys have any good videos or stories that you think would encourage or inspire other people, please send them to me and maybe I'll feature them on the next episode of Five Good Things. Until then, I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and hang in there. Light at the end of the tunnel, guys. We got this. We're in this together for good. I'll see you tomorrow.